I came with a, a very, uh, you can say that very sensitive topic, which is uh, FIR. You know that the uh, what is the meaning of FIR? Uh, the full form. I, I think everybody knows that the full form, which is first information report, uh, and it is defined under 154 of CRPC. So when we talk about the FIR, what what is the first thing which came in our mind? Can you recall that? Yeah, first thing is that police. Okay, as uh, we discuss, uh, as as we are discussing the topic of the FIR. So firstly, I would like to inform that the, what is the literal meaning of the FIR, which is a first information report, and it is a first time in time information that uh, whenever the offence or something has been committed, so the first time you are reporting somewhere or you are uh, writing somewhere that is called the FIR. Okay, so it is based based on the nature of the FIR. The FIR के nature में base होती है कि वो किस section के under क्या कहते हैं आप कह सकते हैं कि वो register होगा, which is 154 of the CRPC और 155 of the CRPC. So firstly, I would like to say the 154 as I have told you that this is the section of the FIR, and the second one was 155. One, what, what is the 155? Uh, the 155 section is uh, talks about that if there is an offence which is non-cognizable, uh, the police cannot take action or police cannot sorry police cannot arrest you without the uh, warrant of the court. So uh, this was the uh, na nature and uh, like the meaning of the FIR. So now I would like to define the nature of the FIR. What is the nature? What is the meaning of nature here? The here nature is that uh, the offence is cognizable or non-cognizable. So nature is that. So firstly, I would like to uh, uh, tell you that what is a cognizable offence. First is uh, it has to be uh, the cognizable offence. Firstly, uh, you need to understand that if there is a uh, like उसकी punishment जो होती है सजा की अगर वो आपकी तीन से सात साल से ऊपर है या तीन से सात साल के अंदर है या तीन से सात साल के बाद की है whatever जो भी so that is called serious offences, which is serious in nature, and these are all cognizable offences. And uh, the police should not uh, like. As the police should not need police to have a warrant, then they can arrest you. If you are, uh, if you cover under the uh, uh, punishment of uh, three to seven years, the police can arrest you without any warrant of the court also. And uh, second one is non-cognizable offences. What are what kind of non-cognizable offences? Th these are the offences where the uh, punishment of a crime. Whatever the crime you uh, firstly, uh, the, what do you understand by the crime? The crimes which are mentioned in IPC, the IPC has mentioned all the punishment and all the crime definition in that. So in that IPC, if the punishment is less than three years, so this is non-cognizable offence, which is less in its nature, less serious in nature. So police cannot arrest you without having uh, any. Mm -hmm. uh, you can say the judicial magistrate uh, warrant, oh sorry, or order or, or, or order or warrant. So you, the police must have the warrant to arrest you. Mm -hmm. These mm -hmm. are the nature and the uh, meaning of the FIR. So in the next video, we will discuss that how the police can arrest you in the cognizable and, and in non-cognizable offence. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if is there any query, please let me know in the comment. I will uh, I will give my number in the uh, description box. Please let me know on that. Thank you.